stress how insane this is. tricks when someone else does it someone else copies it it's not going to happen in this trick no one's gonna do this so we're out here in a country town of Victoria called Ararat and as you can see behind me we've got a big new ramp and we're just gonna see what we can do hopefully a triple backflip so the ramp is the third gear ramp, and one of the gnarliest things I've ever seen. 7.2 metres tall with a 9.7 metre radius and the continuous radius just gives them that constant speed without G'ing out. You don't ever want to think about it, but there's a lot that can go wrong on something this big. And I think being the first person to ever jump it and have to judge the speed and the distance, um, probably, you know, it's a dangerous sort of thing, but everything in FMX is. And That's the, that's the easy part done. <laughs> now it comes to the harder stuff. Everyone's like, oh yeah, if I had a bag jump, I'd try this or I'd try that. No, you wouldn't. Dude, honestly, the airbag and the technology is getting better and it's getting better and it's better than concrete. But when you're dropping, you know, 50 feet, 70 feet out of the sky um, and you're going from 50 miles an hour to zero, in six feet. They call that something when you do that with a car down the freeway. It's called a crash. So, he's hung on for three. Um, I kind of don't really know what to think. I'm in a bit of shock, but I think it was, it was not too bad, I think. I've got to watch the footage, but... Perfect for a lander, bro. It's only yeah, going to get better for me, that's for sure, because that was my first attempt on this ramp of really hanging on, so... We've <laughs> got this. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think it's kind of hard to put into words how important it is having Sheenie here. I mean... One for his experience, he's the only person who's done a triple flip before, so I mean, that's huge. But, you know, having having someone else that's going through exactly what you're going through and working at the same thing helps push you so much further. Anyone can have it, whoever wants it. Um, I'm very grateful for what Travis has done to, uh, to allow me to do the triple in the first place. Happy for these blokes to have a crack and, you know, pass on any experience that I've gained from Travis. At first I thought I'd do a double and then I was like, oh shoot, maybe I'll just try to see how it feels and <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely got enough, and then when he got around, he's like third and just... Oh, oh, holy yeah. Yeah. I think I've got a bit of a bust up here, but... Oh, the old... I've got a bit of swelling on the elbows already, man. I've got a bit of swelling on my pants. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. 
Okay, I'm ready to be entertained, so do something cool. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. That's death. <laughs> that is death. If you crash that, you might actually die. Like, for real. That's gnarly. As much as I want to see that, I do not really want to be there for that. Yeah, that's the longest panic grab I've ever heard of someone in the air in my life. That one came around good. I don't really know what would possess anybody to want to do this. I gotta watch that one more time. The ramp down here, yeah. it is like nothing I've ever seen before, but I'm taking Travis's word that he's gonna jump at first and I'll watch him and hopefully for some reason then that'll give me confidence. But it's what needs to happen to make everything go further, so that's why we're here. Nitro World Games were brought about when the excitement of the biggest freestyle motocross events and freestyle action sports events, for that, that matter, um, had kind of been dwindling. If we're gonna have the best and we're gonna showcase the elite and the, the top of the top, there should be a place where we can do it where they're doing stuff that's never been done. It's like the action sports used to be. When someone won, they won because they did a world's first. They won because they did something that no one else could do. And I wanted to, again, showcase action sports and that grand idea that the impossible is not impossible. It just hasn't been done yet. I think it's huge for action sports having the Nitro World Games here in Australia, in Brisbane, you know. I'm an hour down the road, Harry's an hour down the road. There's a lot of motocross guys, there's a lot of action sports just in general in Australia. We kind of have a few nuts loose in our head or something and I think it helps, you know, and I think it's a real hub for action sports and to finally get a huge competition like the Nitro World Games here, it's a dream come true for me. Good to have Joe here. Joe has been on a mission, I think, for a year and a half. I've kind of been in the background. It's been kept out of social media and away from the public as such. So to have him be so close to the end of the goal of getting the triple flip done and be part of that final step in, in his project is going to be, be pretty amazing. been base jumping like you learn a lot about different heights and how fast your body starts to fall after how many second delays and different heights and stuff and like the human body is good for probably like 15 meters or 20 meters max height and this thing's like 30 meters so it's not a toy it's not something you want to you don't mess play with yeah. you don't want to play with you don't like if you miss the bag you're gonna be in a bit, in a bit of trouble but <laughs> yeah yeah. So it's one of those things that you've got to make sure everything's perfect, you've got to make sure there's no wind, the right people are involved, the bike's good, your spokes yeah. are tight. And then even and there's an ember here just in case. Yeah. yeah, it's make or break the whole setup, the whole yeah. thing. seeing the footage of the, the triple flip to the bag, I mean, it just looks so violent and so many panic revs and so tucked up just to get that thing moving around. 
To reach that is absolutely putting your life at risk for anybody. And the next people that come along to try that are not going to be as confident or as well versed in that kind of trick. And it could be tragic. Uh, we have a motorcycle accident at Broken Yes, I am. Harry Bank is pushing the limits of action sport because he's the guy that's out there training the hardest, willing to go the highest, and actually physically able to take hits that most people aren't able to take. He can physically push himself further and do more stuff than anyone else in the FMX world right now. Rock solid front flip. Hey, let's go. He's got it. Oh no, Harry. The biggest challenge is staying on top of your own thoughts. And if you tend to control all your thoughts and flip negative funds into positive and use everything to your advantage, there's a way to make every bad negative thought to a positive. You all right? Cause that was awesome. <laughs> uh, I attempted a triple set two years ago. Um, and I got close into the phone pit and then I never did it again. Um, it wasn't because I was too scared of anything, it was just because I was too smart to not to do it and not do it unless I knew I could get to wheels down. I was very patient, I did everything right, I did all my homework. So the next time I, I, I attempted it for my first one last Wednesday. I seriously can't believe that Jay was already back riding and wants to try the triple again. But if him, it's a life-threatening injury and to have him bounce back this quick, ready to go again, it's going to be exciting. My fingers are crossed and I really want to see him go wheels down. Yes. Yeah, the biggest injury that I've been with him, I've, like I've been with him for dislocated shoulders and I think he's broken his wrist or something, but the femur, that was a scary one. That's probably the first time that I took a bit of a step back and thought, are you sure? Like, do you really want to do this? But then once you see him bounce back and how much work he'll put into getting better and the physio and the gym and everything, and then I'm like, he can do it. Let's go trust him. I know you banged up, but it must be a good feeling. Yeah, it was. Like, it was a good feeling. How do you... I just turned to the side because I thought I was under rowing. Have but... you seen the video? Yeah, bro, briefly, I'm a bit banged up. How's me yeah, it could split. Yeah, yeah it's, been a, it's been a long time coming as far as yeah, years of practice and many different ramps and um, it, took me, it took me a good couple of years to figure out even what ramp to use because I'd spent a lot of time and money building certain ramps and I'd go and try it and just, you know, just ax myself and notice that um, that's not the right ramp. So I think it's just awesome to come to this sort of final conclusion of a ramp that works and then we can both go and tackle it. and and actually give each other support on the day because it's a lot different having, if you're doing this crazy, gnarly, scary thing, other people probably don't understand the sort of headspace or mental capacity that you've got to get in before that. And I think the fact that both of us have been training together, we're both doing the same trick, we're actually going to be able to assist each other on the day of the event and help out wherever we can. Although we have two different styles in our riding and our bikes and everything, but at the end of the day, we're still doing the same thing, so we can still kind of help each other out. So I think it's pretty special. Our suspension is like completely different. Like there's so much different stuff. Um, Jay actually did my suspension for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm like doing the triple setup on, he did that exact set like 
happened a month ago. So it's um it's really cool working with him, doing it all together. Um, I mean, yeah, as I said, we're completely on our own journey, but it does help a lot um, doing it with someone on the same setup for sure, massively. This is gonna be violent. It's uh, it's the only time I've ever been scared with these guys coming to uh, to an airbag. That's for sure. It's windy too. It's like I'm so nervous. And Harry's got he's shirtless doing this. Like, uh, man, I'm. Good luck, boys. Uh, are you in Trimpoint or Dublin or? I'm just gonna fly some doubles, yeah. play with it, and then uh, yeah, yeah, just just gotta get a feel for it, and then do a triple. <laughs> I can't believe Jail and Harry are actually really going to do this. When I heard about it, I was... I didn't know what to believe, and now that I've seen it in real life, it's absolutely insane. I mean, it looked alright. I didn't see... He's upset. He's not. He, he, he under-rotated. There was a little bit of hesitation going into the third. Some nerves, a bit of stress. He's, I know his, his ribs are still a bit sore from uh, X Games, actually. He busted his ribs up. There's too much waving around. I got in my head. It's all good. Just fix that and then I'll be good to go. Yes, Harry! I'm going to do another one when the bags pop yeah. back up. Yeah. 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 Oh look for the for the public to see a triple live would be would be awesome. I mean it's it's huge. Just the setup's huge, just jumping the setup would be awesome. But to see a trick that's only ever been done once and it's been coming up six years you know, from that date is that'd be awesome. I, and and not only that, but basically one of the first few large events since COVID lockdown. So It'd be epic, I think, it'd be, if we can fit the thing in a stadium. I mean, it's definitely, you know, nerve-wracking. It's going to be nerve-wracking for them. Um, you know, they've, they've prepared for, for this moment. Um, it's, you know, it's a scary thing to watch, but FMX is, is a dangerous sport as it is, and they know the risks involved. Um, so I think, you know, for, for me, I'm, just, I'm excited to see how it, how it all plays out. Obviously, hope, hopefully, you know, they, they end up safe. Um, and they, they both land it would, would be the ideal situation. Um, but yeah, they, they'll be battling a few nerves for sure. You've just got to be in the right place in your mind and he'll be getting himself in the right frame of mind. He'll be, you know, really putting his energy into that and um, he knows what he wants to do and he's the sort of guy, you know what, if it doesn't turn out, he'll go, he gave it his best shot. You know, that's, that's, that's he, he'll be okay with it. You, know, you can't just be a daredevil in this trick. You have to be physically strong enough to do it. I've seen the work Harry's put in. I've seen the work J.O.'s put in. And I think that today is the day that both those guys complete their goal. I don't, I don't think it's a competition. I think it's more of two best friends just pushing each other to, to break the limits on what can be done on a motorcycle. It's, it's the biggest trick in action sports. And they've got each other's back 100% and they're gonna push each other on the day and they've the last the last few months however long they've been learning and practicing this trick that all they've done is push each other to get themselves both to where they are today whatever the conditions are that's what they have and they're both 100 percent set on going for it I, I don't know that either one of them is fully prepared and i don't know that you ever will be for a trick of this magnitude but tonight we're gonna see it go down time to go mate we're ready bro we're ready Ready. Well, it's one thing to, to do a trick that people are, people have considered impossible or that is a milestone in your sport. You know, just that feeling alone is is one of, it, it really is um, euphoric. It's, it's, the, it's the buzz you keep going for. It's, it's why you become addicted to what we do. Um, because you, you get that feeling like, oh, I did something that maybe you've never done or that no one's ever done. And that high is some so hard to replicate and you keep trying and then to do it in front of a huge audience like that. I mean, just to do it in front of your friends is awesome. To do it in front of a live crowd is really insane, but to do it in front of a global TV audience is something you really can't even fathom in that moment.
J.O. did this, but J.O. could get me. Shoot, Harry can still do this. Now time to watch Harry do it. How do you feel about that? He can do it. He can do it. You know, I know he can. The crowd is all their feet. Listen to that. that around so, so well. Just got a little bit uh, sideways on that, that landing, just a little bit under-rotated. That is absolute testament to just how much this means. You know, it's not about doing something first, it's about doing it. He doesn't care. Exactly. Metal, no metal, Harry wants this for him. He wants to be the man that was able to overcome all the fears, was able to put it together, was able to land it in competition. This is absolutely amazing. Yes. You're friends, you've trained together, your compound is down the road. What has the journey been like to get here? Oh, it's crazy. I can't really put it into words. I've dreamed of a moment like this. Since I was a little kid, I watched Trav. I was in year six at school when Trav did the first double backflip, and I remember watching that over and over, thinking that I'd never live a moment like that. And to do that, like in front of all my idols that I never thought I'd meet, it is a dream come true. Oh man, I lost my voice just yelling for the boys. I'll come close. Oh yeah, I'm so proud of them, man. You know, hard work prevails, so pump for them. I remember when he came to me after a party and said, babe, I think I'm going to try a triple flip. And I said, no, you just did a double. You don't need to do a triple, it's fine. But here we are, best night of my life. He did it. He, I knew he could do it. He did it. He deserves it. I just was hoping everyone was going to walk out to see two triple backflips landed, to see and all the crowd for, you know, 2020 was, was postponed for two years, then we had rain, and there's still, you know, there's almost 15,000 people that took off work today on Monday to come out to watch history be made, and it was safe. I mean, they're the strongest human beings on earth. They worked so freaking hard. Harry's broken, so broken, and he was still able to get it done on the second attempt with the bent bike. No injuries in best trick. Job well done, boys. Job well done.